So just in time for spring break. So the newest craze, if you look it up on YouTube or anywhere online, there are kids showing you how to make slime or gack, but it turns out some of the ingredients that they're using can be harmful to kids. So Dr. Shafu is here with a safe alternative. So doc, tell us, what ingredient is being used that can potentially be harmful? Sure, so Chris, the, the ingredient that's harmful is something called borax, and borax has been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. We do find trace amounts in foods, in fruits and vegetables. It's actually used as a, as a preservative in makeup, but the problem is it's alkaline. It can be very irritating to the eyes, and also if it's ingested or on the skin as an irritant. And I know that we, we have some video of some kids who've actually gotten burned um, right. from borax. And exactly. so why would you actually, why would you use borax at all? Yeah, good question, right? So, I mean, we, you know, years ago we were using lead in paint and lead in the paint for toys, and then we realized the harmful effects. So it's really not a good idea to use something that's an irritant. There's actually potential uh, seizures that can occur mm. with ingestion of the borax mm -hmm. and there's thought at least in places like the EU they they banned it completely because wow. of the risks of reproductive issues of genetic alterations in in unborn children oh wow so some of some what are some of the other uh, harmful side effects because you you mentioned some reproductive issues right right so ingestion you know it's thought in large quantities it can actually be a poison so obviously wow. if someone's taken large amounts they want to call the poison control center okay so you have a safe alternative so Correct. no borax no borax I think okay. it's probably not a good idea, okay. right? Okay, and so you brought, uh, you've brought some of the, I guess, alternatives here. Sure, sure. We're going to make slime. Are We're going to make some slime. slime. Okay, let's so, do it. So basically, um, the, the, one of the basic ingredients is to use glue, either in the clear form or in an opaque form, and then um, that's what gives it the mixture. So, but, the, but the safe thing to use, uh, Chris, is something like cornstarch. Okay. So basically, if we, if it's very simple you know, to, to make this. So you can take essentially a couple of these, uh, it's a two to one mixture basically. Okay. So you take two of these. So this is a half teaspoon? Yeah, roughly. Okay. And then basically you just add two of those, okay. like so. And then you can take the cornstarch and take about one of these okay. as a mixture and, and then bring those together. And then you can kind of mix that mix that together. You can add a little bit of water to that as well. And we'll just add a little bit of water to that. And then you that. add this. We can add the little, the little drops in there too, which those are little uh, balls, little styrofoam balls. Uh, it just gives it a little, you know, more texture. Oh. Um, and then, basically, um, we may just put like a little drop or so of water, water. in that, just to, to make it a little mixture a little bit and better. And it comes out like this. It does. And then we just huh. add a few of these in there. Oh, um, now I want to play with it. Okay. I know, right? <laughs> and then you can add a little. The food coloring can get added as well, so we can add a little blue food coloring to it. See, this reminds me of being a kid again. Look at it that. It does. Okay, so this is a safe alternative. You have two Very other, safe alternatives. There's two others. There's Correct. This so one, there's we the can, pink one. Right. So we can use, um, uh, if we wanted to use this, basically what we would do is we'd use two of this. And what then is one this, of this exactly? This is basically also a glue. Okay. So it's an Elmer's glue, essentially. It's okay. a thought to be edible type of glue. Uh, so we can use that and make this with two of these, uh, two, two half teaspoons and one half teaspoon of the um, of the cornstarch, and then add a little bit of food coloring. And then that's what it comes out. And so it's so funny because it looks <coughs> like it's a liquid, but you pick it up and yeah. One, once you've actually let it sit for a while, it, it does tend to, to gel. Oh. And, and then the third alternative, Chris, is to to actually use the glue um, in association instead of the cornstarch with like one of the liquid um, soaps. Okay. Uh, and if you're going to do the liquid soap, then you'd want to add two of these, the large ones, and one of the small ones because it's, it's quite liquid. And Ooh. then you would get something of that type of a mixture. Now, what, I, w what we should tell the viewers is that the, the problem with a liquid soap is it's an irritant. So you have to okay. be careful if you're going to use that. You don't want a very young child. Well, so I think at the end of the day, Doc, uh, what you're saying is, first of all, if your kids are going to do this, always have adult supervision. Always. Always. Exactly. And would you say, would you recommend this for all ages? No, I mean, a really young child, like I've got a two-year-old, she'd be all in that. Probably okay. a five or six-year-old where so they can take six. directions okay. from an adult and they don't have to worry so if, they, if the adult tells them, don't put it in your mouth, they're not going to put it in their mouth. Got it. All right, so there we go. So a safer alternative. Thank you, Doc, for being here Good this morning. Good to see you, Grace. Sure. All right. Back to you.